Thank you, Deputy Speaker, sir. <clears throat> sir, this is the first time in independent India that we're discussing demands and grants under the control of the Ministry of Railways. The convention and practice of discussing the railway budget ended this year with merger of both the general and railway budgets. Since this is not an elaborate discussion, as we have limited time to discuss the demands of the railway ministry, I wish to focus only on some of the issues relating to my parliamentary, parliamentary constituency and to my state of Andhra Pradesh, sir. Sir, the first and most important issue, of course, is the unfulfilled promise of granting a new railway zone to Andhra Pradesh to be based in Vizak, combining the Walter Division of East Coast Railway and the Guntur, Vijaywada, and Guntukal Divisions of South Central Railway. This is a promise that's been made. It is in the AP Reorganization Act, and we are still waiting with bated breath, sir, for the announcement to be made and this division and this uh, zone to be created. It's a long uh, cherished dream of the people of Andhra Pradesh, and we hope that the railway minister and the prime minister and the cabinet will accord this very soon to us. Sir, I am furnishing here under some of the issues relating to Andhra Pradesh and Guntur. I request the Honorable Railway Minister to kindly go through and take them up as early as possible, since these issues are more important in view of my constituency, Guntur, becoming the new capital of Andhra Pradesh. The connectivity to the capital region is all the more important. So when I'm asking for Guntur and Amarauti, it's actually for the whole state to be connected to the capital, sir. The first is completion of the Tenali-Guntur double line with electrification. This is a long pending project taken up almost three years back with an intention to complete it within 18 months, but it's yet to be completed. The pace of this project tells upon the efficiency of railways, sir. It's not a big one. The line is just 24.5 kilometers long. Hence, I request the Honorable Minister to take it up in the current financial year. In addition to expediting the work, I request you to kindly extend this line to the new Guntur station as well. Sir, between Guntur and Tenali, Vadlamudi is a place where there's a dairy, a fodder factory, in addition to Vignan University and its affiliated colleges are situated there. In the near future, two medical colleges with attached hospitals are also coming up in this location. To reach Vatlamudi, people are using only the road, sir. If a halt is provided near Suddhapalli LC, where railways has its own land, it will be of utmost use to present commuters and future traffic, sir. Sir, the Pagadapalli Nallapadu sanctions and budget for doubling and completion of electrification. At present, this single line has been proposed for electrification, which is yet to be started. There is a necessity to go in for doubling of this line in view of the new railway line coming up. Nadikudi to Kalahasti, and also a new line is planned to the AP's new capital, Amrauti. Hence, doubling and electrification of this line needs to be taken up, sir. Sir, revival of Vejendla Sundur line. The shortest patch of new line in Andhra Pradesh after independence laid to bypass the rush of goods trains and some of the passenger trains from Grand Trunk route between Sundar and Vijaywada was opted to be removed after some years of functioning. This needs to be reviewed once again and revived in order to have a shorter route for approaching capital Amrauti from the southern states. This line was used to run the Sarkar Express between Kakinada and Madras Central. And this is more useful. This may be restored by including in the Guntur Tanali doubling project for running goods trains and super fast express trains, sir. Sir, the crossing stations between Tanali and Repali to be operational. After several repeated requests for the last 10 years from members of parliament, sanctions were made to revive the crossing station, to reduce the traveling time, and to have more number of trains between Tenali and Repali. This crossing station is yet to be open for traffic, sir. So I request the Honorable Railway Minister to please expedite this early. Sir, the need to develop Guntur and new Guntur railway stations. After selection of Tullur Mandal of Guntur district for the location of Amarauti as the new capital of Andhra Pradesh, the Guntur station needs to be given the status of one of the capital stations and, and provide more facilities, sir. The long pending blueprint to improve Guntur station is to be made a reality at the earliest. Development of the western, western side of the station with another platform, platform number eight, on par with flat platform number one, so as to receive all types of trains and to provide all facilities like waiting halls, restaurants, and parking place. All platforms are to be connected with a new foot over bridge where escalators wherever necessary and convenient to all the passengers, sir. 
A foot over bridge is required at the station connecting the east side, which is called the Government General Hospital Road, to the western side of station for public to cross over to either side, sir. I assure the Honorable Minister that the Guntur Municipal Corporation, wherever required, will cooperate and participate in completing this work. The symbolic four lions pillar on platform number four should be shifted to a prominent and more convenient place on the eastern side of the station by giving it a facelift, sir. Sir, new Guntur station is being used as a bypass station to Guntur, providing passage for three by weekly long distance trains and two daily run trains to Chennai from Vijaywada and from Kakinada also. This station needs to be made a coaching station by providing connectivity to Guntur station. Most of the important long distance trains of the Grand Trunk route can be routed through new Guntur station, sir. The present goods loading, unloading can be shifted to Nambur to create more space here for the coaching purpose. Sir, a pit line at Nallapadu station will be of utmost use to originate some trains from Guntur to New Delhi, Howrah, and Mumbai and beyond these places. Sir, the development of Mangalgiri station is very important. This is situated between Guntur and Vijayawada and is the nearest point to the new capital of Andhra Pradesh, Amravati. The 1,000 bed Ames Super Specialty Hospital of AP is coming at, up at a distance of three kilometers from the Mangalgiri station. And many important offices like Police Academy are also being established nearby. This station will have to be provided with all facilities and all the express trains are to be provided with halts to Mangalgiri, sir, being the closest to the capital now. Sir, there are a number of trains where the amount of time taken is definitely too long and the running time has to be brought down. One, one such sector is Guntur Vijaywada, sir. In spite of the double line with electrification, running time between Vijaywada and Guntur is taken beyond 100 to 120 minutes, irrespective of whether it is a passenger or an express train. If one travels by road, it takes only 40 minutes. It's almost more than three times the amount of time it takes if you go by train, sir. So this definitely needs to be brought down to at least equal that of the road, which is 40 minutes. Sir, the Guntur Tenali Repali route, in spite of providing two crossing stations, still trains take longer in reaching destinations on either side. Lack of a crossing station between Tenali and Repale has become very inconvenient to run some more trains to Repale from Tenali. Previously, Vemuru was a crossing station and there used to be a train from Repale to Vijaywada. It is beyond imagination what made the railways to discontinue this crossing at Vemuru. As a result of this, all trains connected with Repale are, are running late. Hence, long back sanction work to lay the crossing line at Vemuru should be completed at the earliest. Secondly, Repale being one of the terminus points of the Guntur division, one pit lane may also be sanctioned so that some passenger trains can be organized from this point. Repale station is serving passengers from Machili Patnam areas of Krishna district also, sir. Sir, there are some new trains which I, try, um, I would like to request from the capital region of Andhra Pradesh. As Guntur, Mengal, Mangalgiri, Vijaywada stations are more approachable to the proposed capital of Andhra Pradesh, new trains introduced will have to be originated from a location in covering these three places, sir. Hence, all trains introduced towards south and east may be originated from Guntur station, and all trains, I'm sorry, from north and east may be originated from Guntur station, and all trains introduced towards south and west should be originated from the Vijaywada station in order to cover both of them, sir. For all these, and all these trains should be provided a halt at Mangalgiri as well. These are the three stations that are the most important in the capital. And until the new uh, capital, Amaravati, and its new station comes up and the connectivity is established, linking these three stations is very important, sir, because the population is grow growing throughout this region now. One express train to New Delhi is also required, sir. The present Vishaka Rajdhani Express is only with AC accommodation. A new train with all classes should be introduced from Guntur so as to extend it to the capital city, Amrauti, in future. Sir, Vijaywada, Mysore, Vijaywada Express via Guntur, Guti, and Bengaluru. The increasing rush towards Bengaluru demands this train, sir. Reaching Bengaluru in early hours will be of utmost use for the passengers. As most of the IT professionals working in Bangalore are coming from Guntur and Vijaywada, it's all the more important, sir. The existing trains are not in a position to accommodate them. Hence, introduction of a new train from Vijaywada, Guntur to Bangalore via NRT, NDL, and Guti is requested, sir. 
Sir, Guntur Tirupati Guntur Intercity Express via Tenali and Gudur. A day train connecting Bapatla, Chirala, Ongol, and Nellur will be very useful to students and employees, sir. Sir, Guntur Chennai Guntur Intercity Express via Tenali and Gudur. It is necessary to have a direct train in daytime also to reach Chennai, sir. The Vijaywada Don Vijaywada Intercity Express via Guntur and Nandyal. This train is also useful for all passengers reaching Vijaywada Guntur junctions from various places and also provides an express in daytime in this route to reach Sea Salem. I have a number of other requests which I will detail out and give to the Minister directly regarding extension of trains, increase in frequency of trains, new halts, RUBs and ROBs. I'm just concluding, sir. Sir, in the first railway budget of this government, there was a proposal to establish five railway universities required to give education pertaining to railway functions. So far, only one has been established. Hence, we request that one of such university to be given to Andhra Pradesh in our capital of Amarauti, sir. So I request the Honorable Minister, please consider one railway university for Amarauti. Finally, sir, the last point I'd like to make. With the housing for all scheme, as it, as it relates to railways, I'll just explain, sir. There are a number of unauthorized constructions that have come up on encroached railway land throughout my constituency and I believe throughout the country also. Yeah, yeah. So when we approach the DRMs and uh, approach the railways for a solution for this, these are people who have been living on railway land for more than 15 or 20 years, not encroached in the what, last few years. There has to be a solution considering the humanitarian grounds of these people, where the land is anyway being not used by the railways. The state governments need to work with the railways to identify alternate land for the railways, exchange these, and bring these millions of people, I'm sure, suffering like this throughout the country, thousands in my constituency right, alone. Right. No. So there needs to be a concerted effort by railways to address this issue of encroachments on railway land and give some dignity to the people who are living there, sir. Thank you. I na heartbeat aagi poyna cheppi na tarvata kuda memu doctor ni bangu poyam adhyaksha ingokka sari try cheyandi ingokka sari try cheyandi rendu gantalu sepu try cheyipistune unnam adhyaksha